Okay, so let's go on to uh, what we got over here. So we're talking about, um, let me do this too. Let me, let me just comment out the rest of this. Okay, Boolean logic. So, okay, what is a Boolean? Um, a Boolean is a value which is either true or false. And yeah, we can write statements which are either true or false. You know, you can print it out and see what it is, etc. So, you know, X is false. So it has to be, it actually has to be a uh, capital F. So if you try to write like, like that, it's not going to work. Um, you can see that like Sublime didn't highlight this like it did here. This is black, this is purple. That's how you know you were a little bit wrong. So if you use false, false, there you go. I mean, you can do this again with uh, like Notepad or any other text editor, whatever you have, Microsoft Word if you want to. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, just basically, if you want it to run, you want the .py instead of the .txt. And then, you know, if you have it in Sublime, it'll tell you the syntax highlighting basically is what's going on here. So, you know, if you misspell false, it has it in black, and then spelled the right way, it's uh, in purple. So that's that. What that is, you know, x is false, and you can print the value of false. Okay. So let's do this. So false. Okay. Easy. Um, now. Oh, okay. Someone, someone's in the Discord now. All right, great. Okay, uh, there's X. Yeah, you feel free to speak up if you uh, if you have questions or anything. We're going kind of slow. I'm judging the pace. I could use feedback. Okay, now what do we got? What do we got here? So we have this double equals. Okay, so the double equals operator is used to compare values. Um, yeah, I I, I said there, there there's more to this. Basically, but for now, just consider this is like if the values are the same, uh, you get like that that this whole expression with this operator evaluates to true, if it's true. This okay, so print false is equal to true. Well, uh, basically, false is different from true. These are like reserved. These are basically reserved words in this language. So um, things can evaluate to true or false. You'll, we'll see more about that later, but so, yeah, like this statement itself will be false because uh, false is different from true. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's 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 just see let's see what that looks like. Let's go like this. Um, false is equal to true. We should get uh, false there. False. Okay. Great. And then um, you know, moving on now. Uh, let us see. Let me uh, make sure I'm doing this correctly here. I'm getting lost in my comments, but okay, let's just let's just comment that one out real quick, and let's uncomment from here into here. Okay, so false is equal to false. Now this should be true because false has the value of false, right? Okay, you know, so we can test that out. Okay, it's a printed true. Okay, um, what's next? So let's see. Um, let me uh, comment that part out, and then okay, you can also use uh, is right. So false is true. This like the is operator is the same as the equal equal. Okay, um, so this this should also give us false. It's the same thing as this statement right here. It's the exact the exact same thing. Okay, um, so let's do that real quick. Okay, it's also true. Wait. Okay, I didn't save. Okay, okay, okay. That's false. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's that. And um, let's move on. So, I was doing pretty good with this uh, whole commenting thing, but okay. True is true. You know, true is true, so that should be true. Uh, once we save, okay. True is true. Yeah, that's, that's true. Um, next thing. Oh, that looked like it worked. Okay. True is not true. So, like I said, not is like negation logic. So basically, if you say like a value that's true, if you say like some something is say say x is true and you say not x, that means x would be false. Like not x would be false if x is true. Okay, there's just logical negation. So the value of true is not true. Like this statement is false because true is true would be true, right? So this is saying like true equals equals uh, false, 
not true evaluates to false. Okay, so this whole thing is false because true does not equal to false, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's, like I said, I don't know where everyone's at, so that's that's what uh, that's what we're dealing with there uh, for now. Okay. Uh, true or not true? Okay. Now this is a little bit interesting because now we're saying now we're introducing a new this new operator or. Um, I, I, I would I'm, I might go into paint right now also and uh, talk about um, oh I got a direct mess oh I got a friend request okay all right great um, okay uh, true or not true so you basically have the, the or is the or is like the or is a special word in logic basically and it uh, you know, I, I can draw. I draw the truth table. I think. I think for just just so it can be it can be clear. Um, let me let me do that real quick. Let me pull up uh, paint here. Um, one second, guys. Okay, here we go. So let me just show you guys what or looks like. So, um, let's see. Wait a minute. Okay. Let's go like okay, and then and then result. All right, perfect. Better than my writing on a on a chalkboard or whatever. Okay, so let's see if we have like true. Let's just say t is true, right? And you sometimes you write or like um. All right, we we can just we can just do this. Like the two lines are or, right? So true or true, the result is uh, true. Basically, what this what this is doing is saying like, um, basically, or or will just evaluate to true if you have one expression that's true on one of the sides of the or. So like or is like or is like a binary operator that operates over two different expressions, and the expressions are either like like boolean expressions that can evaluate to true or false. So just to make it easy, write the little table like this. Um, and zoom in a little bit. Um, okay, so yeah, so let's see. Okay, that's, this is fine. I, I hope you guys can read that. Okay, anyway, uh, then so then what's so true or uh, false? Like I said, it will evaluate to true because we have true on one side, right? So then the reverse is true as well. So you have false or uh, true that will also evaluate to true. And if you have the only case where it evaluates to false is if you have false or false, and that's false. Okay. All right. Everyone good with that? Um, I think that's pretty that's pretty standard as well. Um, so that that that's that. And now, okay. So we have the same thing here. So false or not false. So this is saying false or true, and if you pay attention in the last, in that paint thing that I showed you, which hopefully that makes sense, um, this would be true, right? Because it's false or true, right? So let's see what happens with that. We should we should be getting true here. Perfect. Okay. Um, moving on. Uh, true and okay. Now and is a, and is another operator. So. How AND works is if you have uh, anything that's false on either side of the AND operator, you will get false. So let me just uh, let me get back into uh, our paint here. So basically, so this is uh, this is AND, right? And usually, um, I guess like I don't know. There's a few ways we can write AND. Um, Let's let me think. What's what's a good way to write and? So this is or the or is like this. I mean we could write it doesn't really matter. We could write and like that, right? Okay. So let's see. True and true. This is only this is the only case where it will be true, right? So it's like it's almost like the opposite of uh, of or, I guess. You could you could think of it that way. So so you know, true and false, uh, that's false, right? Uh, false and true. That's false. 
and fall oops false and false is also of course false okay take a screenshot of that if you need to um you know we'll call this or and call this uh, and okay um yeah pretty simple stuff there all right if you haven't seen this stuff this is like used in like logic or like some some like types of math basically but yeah you don't have to know it too much but the idea behind this is that we're going to go into uh, control statements which rely on whether things are true or false basically okay now let's keep going so true and not true here okay so this is going to be uh, this what is what is it going to evaluate to right so we have true we have this operator so let's just look at that so we have one thing on this side, one thing on this side. You can kind of think of it like this. Like, think of this like that. Um, and then you can also, you can, I don't know, you can get a little bit uh, more uh, intricate here. This is how you should be thinking about this, just if it's not uh, very clear. So, okay, so the and is in the middle. This is, don't worry about the print. Like this is this is what print is evaluating. Basically, print's going to print out whatever this whole thing evaluates to in the outer parentheses. See, Saban kind of highlights these uh, parentheses here. If you can see that, there's a little underline. True on one side and not true on the other side. So what is not? So we evaluate this and then this separately. So this is already true. That's fine. And then not true evaluates to false. So true and false is going to be uh, false, right? Like we saw earlier. So. Let us see what happens there. Write it back in the same way. Um, false, right. Exactly, right? OK. And then let us continue. So here we go. True is equal equal to not false. <laughs> Excuse me. So. Actually, like the uh, the order kind of matters here. Like you need these parentheses because this operator uh, looks for this value, and it's just like it just doesn't really make sense if it equals equals not. Like the computer just doesn't really know what to do with it, so it's better to have this in parentheses. Um, like I think we could do the same thing with this one. Um, we can try that real quick too. Uh, if I'm careful with my in here so we can do print like this should work as well so print like exactly what we had so the and works on all this stuff right here right so we let's let's try that so that should also give us the same thing false yeah okay come that out and then uh, okay. um so this is saying true is the same value as not false so not false is also true. So this should be true, correct? OK, perfect. Now um, let us, <coughs> sorry, uh, let's continue. Now, so you can use numbers instead and stuff. And this is like a greater than operation. Um, so 3 is greater than 4. I think this is pretty familiar to everyone, right? Uh, you know. 3 as an integer is a smaller integer than 4, so this whole thing should be uh, false, right? Because 3 is not greater than 4. OK? So yeah, false. There we go. Um, 5 uh, greater than or equal to 3. Like, this is how you write greater than or equal to. So 5 is actually greater than or equal to 3, so that should give us a uh, true. Yep. OK. Let's uh, let's speed along. I think this is I think this is I think this is pretty familiar, right? I wrote this this way. I wrote this um, you know using some of our old operators from before. So basically, what greater than or equal to means is uh, five is greater than three, or the statement five is the same value as three, right? So if one of these or state like one of these expressions between the or it values to true, then the whole expression is going to value to true. So basically, this is going to be false, but this is going to be true. So this whole thing, true or false, is going to evaluate to true, like we saw earlier in the table, right? Um, 
And you have, it's, it's a little bit weird, like, you can't write 5 greater than 3 or, well, I guess it doesn't make sense, or 5 greater than 3 or equal equal 3, right? Uh, you have to write the 5 again, because these are basically uh, interpreted as, like, two different statements, and this is, like, a, an operator that operates on the statement. So let me just show you, like, what I meant. So you don't write um, 5 greater than 3 or equal equal 3. This doesn't work because... This or will be looking for like this expression, whatever on, is on this side, and evaluate this. And equal equal three isn't like a valid binary expression. You can't evaluate equal equal three. Um, like you don't have anything you're comparing this operator to. This operator is expecting two arguments, right? One argument on this side, one argument on this side, and you know you need to put the five there basically. Hope that makes sense. Okay. Um. Now, let's see, print 3 less than 2, okay, so 3 is not less than 2, so that's false, okay, all right. Now, um, the last one, if you're paying attention, um, you know, uh, what would this evaluate to? You know, pause, pause the video. Uh, the people I've shown this to out of our class, they, they take them a while to figure this out, but um, I'll give you a hint right here. This parentheses and this parentheses close each other out. Everything else is well formatted, you know. That's the hint I will give, and you know, I'll give I'll give a few seconds to uh, catch up on uh, whatever I've missed because there has there has been some uh, activity uh, involving me, so I will leave that there. I will leave it to you as homework to figure out the answer to this question, okay? You can go back and watch the video and all that.